Welcome everyone to New Hampshire Motor Speedway, race number 17. Nick Holliday scores the pole for today's race. Here is the full qualifying results. And now we'll take you to trackside. About to get the command. And here it is. Drivers, Darcher Engines! Alright. Engines fired up. We are ready to go. So, after our race at Road America, the points for the leaders are pretty much the same, although Noodles now has a 37 point lead. Yeah, that gap is growing. Seminoles can remain in second. Nick Hall that gains a position. He's up to third. He's only one point back behind second place. Fourth place, Kenny Johnson, who starts second. He's uh, dropped the position. Casey Nanico is now fifth in the point standings. Gaining four. Hiroshi, Zipatar, and Smart remain. Anderson dropping four. He's down to ninth. And Cole Sampson remains in tenth. The winner, Malik Nevins, only gained one position after his victory. As we're waiting on the pace car to pull in. Here we go. Green flag is out, and we're underway. Hiroshi in a 66, wasting no time. He wants that lead. Nicole hangs on. Official ba battling the 68 for third. Got Des Holiday in a 31 behind. Three wide there. Hiroshi trying to eat the outside line. Not gonna work. Coming to lead, lap number one. Nick Holiday gets it, and they're going around. Just after we completed the first lap, side by side for second, still three wide back there. Des Holiday on the bottom, gonna clear them both. Fisher now clears Hiroshi. Nick Holiday in the five. He will easily take this yellow flag. And here they come to the caution flag. There it is. Yellow is out. All right, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. So with Noel Holiday and the 34 of Casey Nanico. Yeah, they're already leaning against each other through three and four. And then once they came off turn four, Holiday puts uh, Nanico in the wall. And these guys, I think they got into the wreck of their own. Nanico in the air. Ryan Butcher cuts some air. Cody Smart heavy damage. We uh, see Chapman, Alexander Rowe involved, and Rodriguez just squeezes by on the inside. Still got some damage, though, but that could have been a lot worse. Take a look at that again. So it looks like uh, Ryan Butcher in the 07, Sam Curtis in the 44. Yeah, they got together. And Butcher goes in the wall and gets on two wheels. Nick Wilcox in the 78, right in the mix. Just, well, just a little touch right there. Right on board here with Rodriguez. Yeah, just makes, gets in the back end, hits the wall pretty hard actually, to the inside. But he ends up finding a hole in the bottom board. Kind of just skims right through, hits the four, but no severe contact. All right, first caution of the day. I'll take you back to the restart. All right, getting ready for the restart here. Rodriguez, currently one lap down in 38th. The 36 of Sam Curtis, or Ash Curtis, a camshaft issue. So he is out for mechanical. The 07 Ryan Butcher, he is also out due to the crash. We're getting ready to go green. Base car is in. And we're back underway. 23 extremely slow. Charles going to have to find a way to maneuver around him. You know, plays Ivatar in the middle, he just door slams Kenny Johnson. 
Did not want to get held up there. The 19, the 92 on the inside line. Rodriguez looking to give way. No, not quite. Now it gives room. Going to be in the middle. Back to our leaders here. Nick Holiday with a nice lead. Fisher, Hiroshi, DJ Curtis, and the 31 at Des Holiday battle for fourth. And DJ will clear, and we got ourselves a crash. Nope, oh, no. Light's still green. What happened? I think maybe someone just hit the wall. And that was it. And Fisher in the 54 closing the gap. Right on the back bumper. Tries the outside line. So does Nick Holiday. He slides up. And now the caution's out. Alright. Second yellow of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Brad Chesson in a 26. Who was 29th. Looks like he gets in the back of the 48 a little bit, but no, not quite. So the 44, Sam Curtis, came up, turns him around. Only a single car incident there. And that was it. Right on board here with the 44 of Curtis. Yeah, Justin does get a little sideways, but Sam Curtis just goes all the way up and gets into him. Takes him out. Light's still green, and no, now there's the caution. Okay, so that was the yellow. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go. Getting ready for the restart. Same amount of cars from the previous restart. Nick Holiday in the 5. Still our leader. As we know, Holiday is third in the points. He still only has one top 5 to his name. His average finish is a 14.81. We're getting ready to go green. And we're back underway. Kenny Johnson already on the inside. Rodriguez fully gives, gives way. Wow. And here comes Fisher for the race lead. Side by side. Hiroshi also in the 66. Holiday trying to fight back on the outside, but it's not going to work. New leader, 54. Sorry to see the Joe Gibbs drivers run closer to the front. Ever since that Chicago land win, Riley Sampson got. They nearly made it two in a row at Road America. And now Fisher is out in front. It's been a rough one for the veteran with no top five so far. With 16 races complete. 34th in the points. A 23.25 average finish. It's definitely been a rough one. Kenny Johnson now will go by the five. Six points separates these two. They're third and fourth in the race and in the standings. And Johnson is clear. Blazy Vitar in a 33. Running fifth. Mitchell Hodak in a 21 is sixth. See the rest of the top 10, DJ Curtis, Des Holloway, Chris Sang, Colin Bear, or maybe, or, uh, Riley Sampson. Nick Holliday looking to get that spot back. Hiroshi now in the 66, closing in on that 54 car. Away battle for third, Mitchell Hodak in a 21, looking to take fourth away from Johnson. At the line there, they're pretty much the same. Hiroshi. 
pretty consistent two wins this season. Got them pretty early. But he was able to keep pace. Did not fall off the map. Third win would definitely be huge. As here he comes on the back end of the 54. Over a second, or just over a second. Between first and third, and here comes Hiroshi. Still there on the inside. Can't quite get there. Got on the flat part. But he's still there. Fisher still was on the outside. Here they come. Third and on back, closing in, and Fisher still the race leader, able to hang on. But they're closing. Eight tenths back. Hodak in zone one also. Pulling away here. Field is pretty spread out. Let's take a look at the back of the pack for a bit. Everything seems to be calm back here as well. Still tightly packed. A lot of drivers battling for position. No one's really strung out back here. To the front. Oh, here we go. Battle for the race lead again. Hodak also for third. Hiroshi for the lead. And he's clear. Fisher goes wide through three and four. Half a second lead now Hiroshi has. Hodak now in third, Holiday fourth. Major Hodak's season's been up and down. He's 5 for 5 for top 5s and top 10s, but he is 20th in the points. We've seen him run in front a couple of times. Noting the 5 top 5s he's gotten. But he gets involved in quite a bit of wrecks too. But right now, running a very clean race. Closing in on the 54 here. Six tenths. Hiroshi is just driving away. Our third different leader so far. Hodak now piling on the pressure for a second. He looks at the inside but not fully committed yet. Not close enough to make a move. But he's letting that 54 know he is there. Haldane Johnson is fourth and fifth. The 10 car noodles who is the points leader as Hodak in the 21 gets really close to the back end. I thought he was going to turn him. And there he goes to the inside in the turn one. Yeah, Fisher's fallen back a bit, losing time. And now Hodak is clear, he slides up. Now running down to 66, if he can. But where is the 10 car as of now? With a 37 point lead. The 10 car is currently running in 21st, so not having the best race. And with those two, are going to gain a bit. Sam Adoskan, who's second in points, he's a bit further back in 26th. Need to make up some ground here, if he can. He's got damage to the left side. He was involved in that wreck.
Back to our race leaders. Closing in a bit. 23 and Fisher has retaken third or second. And now Nick Holday is also joining in on the battle. Guess it wasn't slipping at all. Oh well, we're under caution. Late race or... I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say late race caution, but... Yeah, long green flag run though. It looks like it's a pretty big one on the bat on the uh, front straightaway. All right, caution is out. Hiroshi the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's take a look here. Johnny Cox on the 28th was 17th, battling with Tosumo. Coming off four, he gets into him, but he ends up wrecking himself into the inside wall hard. Comes sliding back in front of traffic, and a Malik Nevins and a nine the Road America winner makes huge contact. His teammate Eric Monaco also involved. Monaco's his day is done, Johnny Cox for sure, and they stack up a bit. But nothing severe. Nevins, he takes one hell of a hit. That's right on board here with Nevins and a number nine. Right almost squared in the door. If they get him in the right in the driver's side a bit. But what a hit from the number nine Nevins. After that big victory at Road America. Was uh, running in a top 25 or uh, 22nd. So he was having and was running midfield. This entire race. But yeah, another one for the nine. At least they got themselves a win. Johnny Cox in the 28. His car is destroyed as well. A lot of damage to the left side. And Eric Monaco in the one. Also, he'll limit back to pit road. So our third of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. 35 cars now remaining on the racetrack. Richie Hiroshi is one second lead. Well, I think it was eight tenths coming to the line. Has been erased. That's good for everybody else. So a nice pack, nice and bunched in. Get a chance to get some track position. Still got that 23 in the way. Here we go for the green. Here we go. We're back underway. You can see Nick Hall, they're gonna try to squeeze through the middle. And he does just that. Trying to get third from Mitchell Hodak. Fisher in the 54 peaks to the inside. As these two really get away. Caution out again? I think it is. Well, caution. Right, just right after the third or on the restart there as Fisher tries to get the lead but cannot. Hiroshi again the leader. Let's take a look at the replay. So Salmon Oskin in the 99. He did not need this. Patrick Mew in the 08. Right off of turn two. Turns him around. Ben Cohen in a 16 gets collected. Not a big impact though. Although we're not done. So right when they were coming to the caution, although we take a look at this again. Cohen in a 16, this time it wasn't any of his doing. He was on the bottom three wide. The 08 and the 99 get together, and he get, gets collected. Minor incident, but yep, we're not done. Coming to the caution flag. Skip on through. Somewhere around here. Chris Sang in the 80 gets hooked by the 90 into the inside wall and back in front of traffic to Sumo in the 47. Stephen Oaks in the 02. And then here comes a 10 car right into the back. I can't, can't get the camera to get on him. David Davis and Cole Sampson up in the air. More cars stacking up. So, right coming off the uh, caution flag. A yeah, much bigger wreck, too. Funny enough, the 10 of Noodles was running 19th. So both the top two drivers involved in this in er, have crashed. Although the 10 takes a much bigger one. Right in the back of Stephen Oaks. Still got a bit of a cushion though. 37 points is quite a bit. So that's what happened there, coming to the line. I don't even know how. Or what really well, the 8 and the 90, you know. Was there? Well, let's rewind this a bit more. I mean, you could see the 90 just... Hmm. The 8 
look, looks like he just slowed down or checked up a bit too quick. Something wrong? No, I don't think so. Nothing seems to be wrong, but it looks like he slowed down a bit quicker. And a 90 was on his tail. And that's what would cause the wreck. Alright, so. Fourth caution of the day. We'll take you back to the restart. Here we go. Getting ready for the green. So the 10 and the 47 are out. 33 cars now remaining. 32 on the lead lap. Richie Hiroshi looking for his third win of the season. Fisher looking for his first, as well as Nick Holiday. With a 10 car out, and if he were to win, he'll eat up that points lead. Only 38 back. So they'll gain quite a bit if they were to win. Pace cars coming in for the green. Here we go. We're back underway. And look at that. Holiday Fisher, Curtis, all peaked to the inside. Holiday fully committed now. Looks like Hiroshi got off to a bad start. Only Nick Holiday took full advantage and he clears Fisher off of turn two. And now he's going for the race lead, looking to take it back. Mitchell Hodak now with, looking to retake third. Riley Sampson in a 19. He's in sixth. And Nick Holiday, he's going to get it. Five to go here at New Hampshire. Side by side into turn one. Hiroshi sends it as hard as he can around the top. Caution is out. Hodak through the middle. Still neck and neck. Hodak around the top. Hiroshi slipping back. I think we're going into overtime. Holiday is clear. Yeah, we're going into overtime. And there it is. Caution is out. And yeah, we'll take a look at the replay. So the 90 car lining blaze. You can see he's just pushing, leaning against Rodriguez. Similar to our first caution and nearly tips over. Oh, actually does tip over. Up and over lining blaze goes. Gets back on all four. Tries to keep on going, but breaks loose again. And Nick Hall or Nick Wilcox gets in the back of him or her. Major damage there. They're pretty tightly packed. I think they would have wrecked the other way. Even if Rodriguez wasn't there. As you could see, the six Alex in a row, Chris Sang, Sam Curtis. And I'll start with the 484 and the 8. 8 car gets. No, no, he doesn't get through. So a flip here today at New Hampshire. Somewhat common. Happens sometimes. Take a look at that again. Yeah, just a wedge at 23 in, which causes that car to go over. Alexander Rowe takes a pretty big hit, too. Wilcox, nowhere to go. Wilcox, man, this must be the worst season ever for a driver. He is yet to score a top 10 finish, and we're past the halfway point. A 30.69 is his average finish. All right, we'll see how they line up. That will take you to overtime. So let's see here. Nick Holiday will lead us to the green. There's going to be 31 cars restarting. Rodriguez will get his lap back. So that's perfect for him. As for the rest, that is their official results. Okay, let's take you to overtime. Okay, ready for overtime here in New Hampshire. Nick Holiday, can he hang on? Or will someone else win this race? Fisher in 54 has led a bit. DJ Curtis on the 45. Oh, oh, trouble. Trouble for the five. Nick Holiday's coming in. Nick Holiday has a tire going down, and Fisher will lead us to the green flag instead. Green flag is out. Unbelievable. Great restart for the 54, too. Hodak in the 21. He gets to the bottom. Does not allow DJ Curtis to get underneath. And they're crashing behind. Not a big one, though. Hiroshi now looking for third. Hodak in the 21. Pouncing on the 54. Here they come to the white flag. More cars involved. Tim Randolph hard in the wall. One more lap to go. Who's going to win it? Hodak has come close a couple of times. Fisher in the 54. Not so much. 
He hasn't scored a single top five this season. This could be his first. Hodak tries the top. Fisher in the 54 stays pinned to the bottom. Checkered flag is out. Ramian Fisher. It will take it here in New Hampshire. Here comes the rest of the field. There's Tim Randolph. He's still Joe Cohen. Nick Holiday. Cannot believe it. The tire going down. Coming to the green. Looks like he's going to finish 30th. Alright, let's take a look at the full race results. So there you have it. Ramian Fisher with the victory. Mitch Hodak finishing second. Coming close once again. Richie Hiroshi getting third, DJ Curtis fourth, Stephen Oaks fifth, Des Holiday sixth, Brad Chesson seventh, Colin Bear eighth, Raleigh Sampson ninth, and Kenny Johnson getting tenth. Here is the rest of the race results. And man, you got a feel for Nick Holiday there. Just poor timing. Just wish there was no overtime. He probably would have won this race. But yeah, the other five car lost a lot of points today. Now let's take a look at the wrecks. Before we take it to victory lane. So right uh, through turns one and two, you can see there are four wide. Cody Smart kind of drifts up a bit. Rodriguez, however, there was no contact. He goes up, takes out Anderson and Sam Curtis, but not a huge wreck. But we got a huge wreck coming up. See Tim Randolph in the 39. Let's see what happened to him. Yeah, he took a took a pretty big hit. Collect the Cropley in the 11. Somewhere around here. Yeah, he drives it in there hard, gets into the 08, just snags the 11 right in the back end. Takes a hit. No one else involved. Just limping across the line there at the end, or I think he just came down pit road. And Rodriguez on the 23 decides to want to join in. Yeah, it looks like he's just headed straight for the 39, and he tried to get down pit road, but he just misses it. Hits the wall, or scrapes the wall there. So yeah, that concludes today's race in New Hampshire. Some drama there at the end. Ramian Fisher, well, somewhat of a lucky win, or... Well, he stayed up front, he led laps, so... Wasn't really lucky, and finally a big break for the 54 team. Comes here, New Hampshire. Yeah, about time. Mitchell Hodak came close yet again. Maybe next race. But alright, so there you have it. Full race results once again. We'll now take you to victory lane.